You know, I've been waiting a long time to do this video, and I think I finally have all the assets to finally do it. That's right, everyone. Today, I'm finally gonna show you guys how to be Slipknot. Oh my god, I forgot the most important part. Ugh. Can you guys hold on one second? I gotta call my electrician. What the hell are you doing? Get the hell off of me, man! What the hell are you doing? This is a normal behavior! Get off of me! What the hell? All right! Now this is what I'm talking about, okay? From here on out, you'll refer to me as number nine, the lead guitarist of Nick Slot. This actually looks pretty creepy McSalad juice. This is, I love. Now you may ask yourself, how do I get heavy metal vocals if I can't sing? Well, I have an easy solution for you because today's sponsors are Wondershare Uniconverter. Check this out. Uniconverter can extract vocals from a song using AI. We just go to vocal remover, drag and drop the song in, and just wait a few seconds for the software to solo out the vocals in any song you want. So there you go, now you can take those vocals and put them on any one of your songs and Corey Taylor sang for you. Now anyone who's done karaoke knows that most karaoke tracks sound like absolute sh**. I did my time and I want out. So if you say faith. But Uniconverter can cut out vocals as well, leaving you with an instrumental track, basically your own custom karaoke song. I did my time and I want out. Now that is some premium quality karaoke. Uniconverter can even cut out background noise in your recordings, just in case your recording is bad quality or has background noises that you want to cut out. And even an audio compressor if you want to compress large audio file sizes. <laughs> and it does so at super high speeds. Uniconverter supports more than a thousand different video and audio types, so <laughs> click on the link in the description to download Uniconverter right now and enjoy your own heavy metal karaoke. Now we're ready to write our Nip Slot song. Now you're gonna want your Slipknot song to start in a, a very low tuned, single note kind of riff, like. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of slipknotty, but you want you also want the riff to sound kind of creepy too. You don't want it to sound all happy and like metal Corey, like a <laughs> metal Corey Taylor. Too catchy. Slipknot wants to go for a creepy vibe, so we're gonna want to use more of like um a spacing of notes that is kind of more creepy. That's slipknotty. Is that Slipknot or what? But but the other thing about Slipknot riffs is that you don't want to just play it like plain, like boring. What Slipknot likes to do is they kind of like to put a little, a little bit of bendy, just a little bit of vibrato in there to give it kind of a creepy Slipknot signature sound. Listen. See how it just gives it that creepy Slipknot signature sound? So there we go, I think we got it. Let's uh, record our Slipknot intro riff. One, two, Metal Corey Taylor. Okay, but now Slipknot doesn't like to play the same chord over and over again. So what we're gonna do for the verse is we're gonna change up that riff just a little bit and kind of do a variation of it using power chords. Hello, I'm number 0000, zero, zero, zero rhythm guitarist of Nip Slot. So to refresh, we have our opening riff. And for the verse, we're gonna turn that into power chords. Oh, and don't be afraid to peck a note here and there, you know, slipknot. <laughs> All right, so now let's record our verse. No, 
now that we have our verse and intro, it's time to do our little Slipknotty chorus. So much like any other band, Slipknot likes to incorporate power chords, open power chords, for their chorus. But we're not going to get catchy with it. We don't want a catchy sounding chorus like metalcore. I push my fingers into my eyes. The only slow way to stop the Lame. Slipknot likes to get a little creepier with their chorus chords. We want it to be metal Corey Taylor. So instead of, we might just go. Creepy sounding, but also retaining a little bit of catchiness. Hello, I'm number 53.235, drummer of Nipslot. So what do you say we write some Slipknot drums? So here we go. Each one of these blips equals a drum beat. The lower row is kicks. These ones are snare and our cymbals and so forth. So here's a common drum beat. Let's see what we got. So again, very common drum sound, but it's still a little bit too boring for someone like Joey Jordison. So what we're gonna try to do is get a little more kinky with the, the with the kick drum. See if we can add a little bit of more slip knotty spice to the slippy doodle sandwich. See that's a little closer, but Joey Jordison like, likes to make it a little more interesting than that. So we might add a little bit more double kick. Like in one section here, just add a whole bunch of little little yellow kicky nicks. Yeah, here we go, yeah. One more. There we go. Yeah. There we go. See, that? that's just better than just double kick the whole time. It just adds so much more flavor to our Slipknotty McSandwich. So yeah, that's how you write Slipknot drums. <laughs> now we can't have vocals until we have lyrics and admittedly I'm a terrible lyric writer. So luckily I have a metal lyric generator. Three adjectives. Slimy? <laughs> That's not very slipknotty. Um, grubby? I feel the pain! You're looking grubby! What about painful? Painful. Hateful? Hateful? That's an adjective. If I can freaking spell it, there we go. Three singular nouns. Devil? Okay, actually that's, they don't sing about gremlins, but they do sing about devil. Um, skin? Skin. I can think of a few times uh, they have sung about skin. I'm overthinking this. What has Corey Taylor sang about like every song? He says so often it's unbelievable. Something you can master. Um, you can master chickens, really? <laughs> you know, over the past while, I became really good at chickens. Uh, guilt, guilt, guilt. Something you can pull? Um, stitch, stitch. I don't know why, but that word is so slipknotty. Something you can smash? Oh, okay, now we're getting metal. Uh, bone, bone, they've sang about bone a few times, so uh, we can smash bones. Something you can twist? Mepages, no. Fate? Twist of fate? I think Corey Taylor sang about fate before. Something terrifying. I'm thinking disease. Disease. Yeah. I can I can think of a couple times Corey Taylor has used that in a lyric. Finally, what is your artist's name? I thought you'd never ask. We're, we're Nipslot. Our genre is metalcore, retailer. If we don't get good lyrics for this, then I don't know what will. A painful devil nestled somewhere in time, a hateful skin, no warnings, no signs. That literally sounds like Slipknot lyrics. A painful devil nestled somewhere in time, a hateful skin, no warnings, no signs. I had to see was a disease watching me, was a swallow just some kind of hell. So a trademark of Corey Taylor's vocals is switching between angry and clean singing. I like to sing clean, but then I go like this. Give me a clean note, then I'll sing like this. Something like that. I don't sing as good as him, but something like that. Ah, he's clean. <laughs> what? That was just Machine Gun Kelly. I push my fingers into my eyes. But as for the chorus, we're gonna get some nice, clean Corey Taylor vocals with just a little hint of creepiness. <laughs> so let's see what we can do for our chorus here. Compliments of Lyric Generator. This time, I'll be the only one to save you from me. See what I'm saying? This time, I'll be the only one to stop the disease. Oh, I win 
done Machine Gun Kelly again. Oh. All right, now we're starting to get a little slippy doodle dandies in here, what? Every Slipknot band has to have a rabble rouser. You know, the member whose sole purpose is to hype up the crowd and hit kegs and hit things with bats. And I know just the person for the job. Hi, stalker. I, window. Do you want to be our rabble rouser? All right, so we got all of our members. You guys are having so much fun. <laughs> I want to be in the band too, but I'm not good at any instruments. <laughs> Slipknot is not a band. Slipknot is community. You want to be our tom player? But I can't play drums. <laughs> Just hit the tom. Just hit the tom. Uh, Mr. Terryberry? Mr. Terryberry, your locks have been changed. You should be good to go. Do you want to be our DJ? Uh, I don't have a musical bone in my body. All you gotta do is press the button. Just press the button. Okay. So, so we can show our music video now? Shut up, bass player. Uh, that, that was me. So, can we show everyone the song now? No, no, we don't have enough members yet. Th there are literally no more instruments. Well, there is one more instrument. Hiya, sport! No, please, please, I've nothing left. <laughs> you wanna play triangle? Well, this is about the time of the video where I would show you guys my music video, but I'm gonna upload this one separately because it turned out to be pretty freaking sick. When you check out the music video, leave a comment. Let me know who you think is my Corey Taylor. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the music video.